Hi everybody, this is Jay Martins and I am excited to help humanity manifest its creative potential. Now, I say that all the time and that really is the crux of why I do all of the creative things that I do and a good chunk of all the other stuff as well. So, I just want to break that down for you guys. This is my why. This is not your why. It doesn't have to be you know, a thing that you need to attest to. It's not something you need to write on your, you know, hipster PDA and, and carry around with you in your back pocket every day. You can if you want, if it inspires you, if it moves you in the right direction, then that's awesome. But that phrase is a phrase that defines, for me, what it means to be a creative person and, and evolve through the creative process and that's my goal. That's my ultimate mission in life is to, you know, help humanity manifest its creative potential. Other people, they're like, mm, I don't know, I need something smaller. But you need to define that why. And I harp on this. I harp on this every couple of videos. It's like, why? 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 It's like, no. You know, it's such a great concept. If you are grounded in why you're doing something, you're never going to end up choosing something that's going to take you down the wrong path. If you know why you're doing it, then you know how and what's available to, to get there. So, today, I just want to challenge you. What is your why? Have you written it down? Have you got it down to like a phrase or two that's just like a chunk of change? I've got a buddy. And he is, his, his why is freeing the human spirit in the workplace. Freeing the human spirit in the workplace. And that's his goal. That's, he's, he's out there. You know, he is one of those guys that runs his office because he's actually the manager of about eight people. And he works in the nonprofit sector. And he's out there changing the way that the work is done. He's empowering people. He's giving people the keys to the car and then just saying, bring it back when you're done. He's just tweaked their minds to the point where because he has a clear vision of why he's doing things and because he verbalizes that to everybody that he works with and he says, I am here to free the human spirit in the workplace, they respond to that and they say, this is either something I can get on board with or this is something that I'm going to resist. Now, obviously, if you're going to resist, you know, freeing of the human spirit in the workplace, then, you know, maybe that isn't the place for you to work. But most people would say, yeah, man, what else? You're going to give me autonomy, you're going to give me responsibility, and then you're going to give me, you know, actual power to do things, then shabam, I'm going to do this, I'm going to work for you, I'm going to have fun. And he's got a great office. So you need to find for yourself what your why is and how that's going to apply to your life and the lives of others. But the key factor is that you need to distill it down until it's at its atomic granular level and then you need to start verbalizing it with other people. Hey, if you've got something and you're like, ah, I'm just kind of trying to work it out, just keep asking yourself why. Why? Why? And it'll come to you. It'll take, it may take you a week or two. It may take you a couple of days. I know it took me like a week to just jam through and figure out what it was that I was, what I was doing. So I encourage you, spend the time. It's well worth it to figure out your why because after that, everything else falls into place. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.